Hello everybody and welcome back to the long war. So we have a crashed scout in uh, some kind of outdoors train. I have a squad ready here but uh, we have two guys with ballistic weapons and we have some weapons coming up here so I will actually spin to win and hope I get some weapons. Come on! That's one. And that's two. Right. Let's go back and give uh, API short sniper rifle and then uh, Q-Sack like the Gamer a scatter laser. And we have one private with us. Yeah, so we have Private Semyenov, we have the Commanding Lieutenant Odd, we have Nukumo. Nukumo. Our four health scout, so he has the alloy plating. We have Q-Sight Gamer, our assault, API shard, our sniper, we have Van Dorn, our gunner, and then a rocketeer. Un, I think this comes SEO. Yeah, SEO, un. Um, only one medkit. So that might be a little bit risky. Uh, let's go for it. I'm thinking about if we should give you like something else, like an SMG or something. Three to five damage, two to four damage. We could go with the carbine, I guess. Let's go with the carbine. That will lower your damage, but yeah, you will get some. A little bit better uh, aim at least. One problem here is that we don't have any flashbacks against uh, an outsider, for example. Oh well, screw it. Let's just check if we have any more uh, scopes that we didn't have. So well, let's just go. So I'm bringing a decently strong squad because I'm afraid of we have visual on the mission site setting oh, down cyber discs and mutants France is sending an urgent mission request our target went down in a remote area but we have to secure the site before the aliens recover any survivors before the alien recovers any survivors I wonder if the aliens actually send out rescue missions. That would be kind of interesting if you could uh, intercept their uh, Come in, HQ. rescue missions. These maps all scout. look the same to me. Is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Which is a little bit frustrating. At least we seem to be starting in the bottom corner here. We have our scout in the back. Still nothing on the radar. But at least we have some meld to aim for. Solid copy. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's check. Mm, we should be safe to run to this cover. Rubbers on the road and the kids are in the back seat. Mm. Roger. Yeah, fighting from half cover. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we will have someone that can actually use the side weapon. That's cool. Time to motor. So we have our sniper, steady weapon. We have our rocketeer, steady weapon. Really? I've got the prone moving around the side. Well, that's an uh, interesting start, and they are all on the ground, I think. 
so we should be able to deal with these pretty easily, I think. Let's attack the one in the back. Nothing's moving down there. And then we have our trusty infantry. So we might not need to use you first. Well, they are exposed, so let's get some hole targeting up or some kills. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Nokomo is bringing the pain. us a little bit in the open here so we need to take it easy for one turn try to get uh, lone wolf active here well, so at least we got one group down so we should have like two more groups and the outsider Alien object inside. Right, so we have the aliens right about here. Strange, we can't see them. Well, I guess they can be inside. Yeah, they can actually be inside as well. Position confirmed. But I don't want to get closer than our scout. That's for sure. Heading for that location. Try to sneak around. Put our private here. It's a dash, but. Got it covered. Not much else we can do. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Affirmative. Alright. We are in a kind of a bad position with our sniper here. We need to go out on the flank here to be able to see around this hill. Mutons. What was that? That was mutons. What kind of scout are you? Can't tell the different aliens aside. Let's check here. What the? <laughs> I just see a mutant standing on top of that UFO. Alright. Um, it's a kind of interesting thing. It's really bad though. No one has line of sight. I don't think we can get the meld. Even from over here, we can get an vision. Right, so we need to fall back. The problem is we can't fall back into any safe position with our sniper, well, our scout, I should say. I guess he has uh, full cover even from, even from half cover. So we could go here. That might be the best choice. Try to get the aliens to get to us. Approaching target now. Let's try 
Right, so I will bring um, the salt back here out of on site. We like this too much. I mean, uh, the floater might not be able to see us. Well, the floater might be able to see us, but uh, I think we're safe from that other guy, the Newton. if he will move forward and see us with only one move. So that's why I'm thinking about if I should use all watches here or not. I mean I'm using all watch here but that's in full cover. Let's try it. You guys have plenty of health. keep our rookie here since I prefer him to shoot at our rookie instead of our instead of our scout. That's a decent shot. What's up with all the overwatches? So the problem is that uh, the Muton will most likely have um, covering fire, but he's out of range. So let's try this. Funny that uh, the sectoid had lower chance to hit than the, the muton, even if the muton got the the first uh, lightning reflex penalty. Uh, well, okay. Let's use. Oh, we don't have any more. Scanners, damn it. I don't think you will be able to see him from over here. Um, I guess we could bring you forward and use suppression. That is. So let's try that. In motion. I could take a shot first and then use command. Well, So, so bad. Well, let's do just uh, suppression here. Enemy is back. Okay, so the targeting, but we don't have a covering fire. Well, it should be a decent shot for our in front of you here. Yeah, fire damage. Taking these pot shots might be worth it. Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. See you in hell. Come to 
Uh, uh, let's hope we don't trigger anything on the right side here. And I don't uh, know the math behind this, which is better. Let's go with this one. Get some. At least it will save us some ammunition. So that suppression wasn't that helpful, but it gave us uh, the whole targeting. Good thing they didn't open this door, because I'm pretty sure we would actually got uh, an outsider if that was the case. But not a single chill minute here on this map. Things are on you. Some decent sniper shots. Um, I it. I it. Let's get a little bit closer. Take a shot. Let's see if there's two hit and run or not. Nope. Doesn't work against flying units. Executioner works against flying oh, units, well, eliminated. if they have less than half HP, which that one didn't, didn't have, but still. Aye, aye. So, Cusack can deal with that guy. But let's actually bring our oh, tier closer. Might be able to do this with our rookie. I don't think so, but <laughs> nope, we could not. We need to reload. Let's use a shotgun again. So he only had two damage reduction now because we had the breaching ammunition. Otherwise, he could uh, block up to four damage, I think. Aye, aye. So the laser sniper rifle seems to have one bullet less, less than the ballistic. On it. Let's see what happens. Can we throw this inside? See if you can see that. Oh damn it! It actually opened the door. <laughs> Yikes! That wasn't go supposed to happen. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Sniper OP. Yeah, that went very well. We was were pretty lucky that we got one uh, pod at a time because they actually ran into us in perfect uh, sequence. If any one of them had triggered one turn before, we would would have been pretty screwed. So, Cusack promoted. Bring him on, yeah, more critical damage, if you use that with the uh, running gun this would be really nice. I think we used running gun on that sectoid, but we only critted for like 10 damage, yeah, so we really need to bring him on. And then we have a new tech sergeant sniper. We have some, uh, uh, what's it called, autopsies done, so we can actually go, go with vital point targeting, but at the same time I think platform stability is better. At the same time, plus two damage is huge. 
Uh, it's it's a hard one, but she has pretty low accuracy, so I think we need a stability buff. Right, and then we have a new support. And I, I know that I said that I needed more um, engineers. At the same time, I do need more medics. Well, I only have one engineer, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. You will be an engineer. Congratulations. Engineer, there we go. Then we can sell some stuff. Like so. What else can we do? Not a whole lot actually. Hmm. An alloy ship. I'm tempted, but that is quite pricey. I think what we should do is trying to get some uh, mechs soon. I think that might be pretty good. We could research this to get some more alien alloys. It's so pricey, I'm not sure if these things are actually worth it. Just spin to win. Improved med kit. That might be worth it. Sham grenade as well, because this will lower the damage reductions for uh, mechanized units, I think. Hmm. Alright. Go with advanced body armor. Is it time? Maybe. Hmm. Should I start trying to capture aliens? It's also a good question. I'm tempted. I really am. Well, everything down here actually takes longer time, so screw it. Let's research that. I kind of need an alien containment center though, and that makes me powerless as well. Damn it. Let's dig and then make alien containment center. Laser cannon. These guys. Can't edit their loadout for you. Well, let's give you the laser cannon then. Mm -hmm. Spend in years for meld, sure. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Mm, can build a new workshop. Can't build more satellite uplinks though. Some money for Mel, sure. Okay, so now we actually have the money for uh, that building. But uh, the power situation makes me wonder if I shouldn't uh, get some power plants going instead. I really think I have too much Illyrium. I'm not going to spend all this. Or am I? I'm not 
sure. Let's build a thermal generator. It's done. And I will actually build uh, I will make this uh, happen, this uh, containment center as well. So we need 100 bucks. It kind of screws up my uh, bonuses here, but whatever. Okay, I can build arch thrower and arc rifle. So this is your uh, standard stunning weapon. It's much worse than in uh, vanilla though. These usually have like 50% chance to stun or something. It's ridiculously bad. But you also can build this uh, arc rifle that will uh, disarm uh, aliens temporarily. But that will take a main weapon slot. Hmm. Xenos I want the alien computers. Could go with the mutant autopsy so I know who, what kind of uh, uh, perks they have when we are fighting them. But let's try this. Xenosionics. Another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. A medium UFO. So this one might uh, land, nap of the earth. Come on. When it has this, these circles, is it scanning? Contact detected. I'm not sure. I kind of think it's scanning. Map of the Earth. Okay. Commander, the council is requesting a direct link on the secure chain. Didn't do anything. Bomb disposal again. Damn it! All right. We are confident that you will handle. Two hundred bucks and the panic discretion. reduction. I guess that's okay. Now I would really like to have an alloy shiv. I don't think I will be able to build one for one buck though. <laughs> so yeah. We still can't get this upgrade in squad size. Yeah. So we will have kind of a hard mission the next time. So we will need to bring the strongest squad possible, but that also risk us losing our strongest squad. We do have Isolde here. That's the woman with uh, concealment. That's a really good ability, so I think we might use that to our advantage. So she can scout for any bombs. Or enemies. And I like that she has 6 health while this other guy has 4 health. And otherwise, I mean, their stats are almost the same. So. I kind of feel bad for this guy, Enigma. Because she is so much better in every way but uh, Will, I guess. But I feel pretty confident uh, confident in this group we can bring. We have a lot of scouts, assaults and the sniper for uh, backup fire. So thanks for watching this episode. It was a pretty quick mission. But uh, I think that uh, the next time it might not be so easy. So wish me good luck for the bomb run. Thank you and goodbye.